Hey all, EC here, and today we're going to be talking about this bit of news that dropped yesterday about Atari making another acquisition, but before we get into it, I have to disclose, obviously, I do own stock in Atari, and if you if you say to me in this video, if you're in the UK, I can give you a link to actually get, to start your trading journey as well, but obviously that's all to the end, uh, I'll explain that at the end, so let's get started, so, Atari acquires awesome not swords and soldiers, so, we're going to skip this bit where it talks about uh, this consumer brands and products, so, Atari announced today that the acquisition of mobile types from Ron Ronimo Games, Including awesome Nauts and Swords and Soldiers. The purchase includes the games, trademarks, and the underlying properties. Uh, the team at Romeo developed a well-deserved reputation for character and game design, said Atari CEO Wade Rosen. We're excited about the potential for these titles. Awesome Nauts is a character-driven mo MOBA, first released in 2012. So, if, if it coming out in 2012 and still existing today, it must be somewhat popular in regards, obviously, to last over a decade online. Obviously, servers have recently shut down. Due to Ron, Ro, Ronimo, Ro, Ro, Romino, Romino Games' is, um, bankruptcy back in August. But obviously, hopefully that's how I can revive this. So, I praise for both its creativity and accessibility. Awesome was gained a following on PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam. Do these sides on Swords and Soldiers and an 84 rating on Metacritic and multiple awards when it was released in 2019, including an Editor's Choice Award from IGN. See, I think there's a mistake with this article. And every version of this article that's come out because it says 2019. I think that's when the remaster happened, the remaster HD version or something. Because the original game for Swords and Soldiers came out, I think it was like 2008, 2009 time. I think people got that wrong. But then it says on there, Swords and Soldiers was released on PC, PlayStation 3, Nintendo 3DS, Wii, Wii U, Nintendo Switch and mobile platforms. It's 2016 sequel. So like, hear me out. If the, game, original game came out, if the original game came out in 2019, there's no way the sequel came out four years earlier. Okay, a sequel to Swords and Soldiers Swarmageddon was released on Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and PC. So, okay. And then obviously it goes on to uh, about uh, Atari and Atari's company. So, hear me out on this, right? As an investor, what do I think about this news? It's brilliant. In my opinion, Atari getting involved in more indie based games and games based on indie stuff, especially games that are original IPs. Brilliant little thing to do because obviously, for those that know, Atari has focused solely on retro games recently, as well as a few as few of their own independent projects. So, getting these games could potentially be a burst of fresh air for Atari. And Atari needs something brand new to obviously push forward. Now, I have some people like Bacon Austin Productions talk about the idea of these games coming to the VCS. I wouldn't be against it, but I think Awesome Nauts would need to find a way to be marketed to the VCS audience, as well as trying to bring all the Awesome, awesome Nauts back. Alongside the fact that Swords and, Sol Sol Swords and Soldiers, these are games that are pretty much everywhere. So, bringing these games to VCS just makes sense. There are PC ports, so you might as well. Yeah, I think this is quite good. Especially as Atari is clearly trying to build for the long term. Trying to build out their catalogue and what they own. And they they've saved these games from a bankruptcy, which is pretty interesting. Because, obviously, most of the games they've bought... So, if I've been from companies that were just selling assets, they won't go and bankrupt. Ron Ronimo Games has gone bankrupt. They've, they've announced they're back they've gone bankrupt. So... Atari acquiring the game is actually quite cool. Uh, especially since this is obviously preservation and they can obviously bring this game to more platforms and obviously put them on more... Uh, not really many more platforms, obviously. They can just keep them available on platforms and update them. Which I think is pretty cool. Now, guys, as I as I alluded to at the start of this video, I have a link for a trading app called Trading212. It's 100% official, 100% authentic. You can trade most stocks from the Nasdaqs across, obviously, US, UK... Uh, and European stock exchanges, as well as Japan and a few others. Now, I do have a link, a referral link. Uh, first five people in the UK that clicks this link will be able to get a hundred. I think I think it's like something like uh, some shares. I think it's like a hundred dollars worth of shares, or something like that, or shares up to a hundred dollars for obviously just clicking the link and making a deposit of one pound. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, go check that out. Obviously, just if you check it out and obviously you do it. That supports obviously the channel, especially since this channel is basically dead at this point. So if you want to help me out and give me a reason to keep making videos on this sort of stuff, it's pretty cool. As well, I'll be using using I'll be signing those shares straight away and then reinvesting the money back in companies like Atari to help Atari continue to grow, so we can continue to see more content on about Atari. And anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts about this down uh, in the comments down below. Obviously, this article will be linked in the description. Then you have my training two on two link. Uh, and obviously, if you knew him, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit six hundred subscribers. Anyway, I've been EC and I'm signing out. Peace.